Hey guys, this is the uh, tutorial part of the uh, Practice Heart video. Uh, I was asked by Craig to uh, do a tutorial of this video because it's a pretty tough song. It's only a level 10, but it's it's pretty tricky. I'm going to uh, talk about the fingering first. Okay, so we'll, we'll do the fingering. Um, and this is something that you should try to memorize. Um, and I'm going to do it in sections. Uh, four sections for the very beginning of the song. And you want to memorize those fingerings, memorize that those sections. Like, if you can't uh, play this from memory, you're probably not going to be able to get the song down very well. Don't think of this song as something that you read the tab. Think of the song as you memorize the parts. You're just focusing on executing versus thinking what uh, what part comes next. So first section here, um, first the intro of the song. We're just going to purely talk about the fingerings, and I've divided it up in, into four sections. This is the first one. <laughs> Okay, so I just think of those four notes. So the fingering I'm going to use is one, three, two, and then slide. One, one, three, two, slide. Okay, that's the first one. And then uh, for the next one, we're going to go one, four. It's a bit of a stretch here. One, four, two, slide. Next one, this is probably the hardest four notes in this whole section. Really, really weird for your left hand. Because we did this slide into the second finger, uh, we have no choice but to use our fourth finger on this note. So it's going to go four, four, three, two, one. So four, three, two, one. Okay, and then you go into the slide after that. Now the very end section, I think of starting that off on the slide, makes it a little bit weird, but it's easier to hit this note and then slide and then finish it off. But it makes it a little bit strange because it's five notes. So that ends up being one, slide, four, two, slide. Okay, so with my right hand, for the most part, I'm doing strict alternate picking. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about your picking in the sense that it's not such a fast song that you would have to do it specifically strict alternate picking. There are some parts where I might be going down, down, or up, up. I have a bit of a, a weird picking style, so I'm not expecting you to necessarily do exactly the same picking as I am. The simplest way to do it is just strict alternate picking, down, up, down, up. The next section is I want to talk about how do you practice this stuff. The most common way is to do it in loops, strive for getting it four times in a row or eight times in a row at a slow speed. So let's just take a look at those in loops. So this is the first section, so I'm just going to do it four times in a row. Next one. And the weird one. And the last 
last one is a group of five, so it's going to feel a little bit weird to loop. Okay, so those are simple loops practiced slow. The next thing you want to do is you want to try to practice these fast. Um, and essentially as close to the actual performance speed as you possibly can. And there's two ways that you can practice this. One, you can practice it uh, with a pause to mentally reset to start the next, uh, the next go at the pattern. Or you can try to do it as a loop. But I would probably suggest doing a little bit of a pause when you're playing, playing it this fast when you're first trying to do it. So that would be something like this. <laughs> And then the next one. Weird one. And the last one, which is a group of five. Okay. The next step would be to try to chain those, just pairs. So you would do the first pattern and then try to chain it immediately into the next pattern. Again, trying to do this as close to performance speed as you possibly can. So that would be like this. First two patterns. Okay, and then I would do the next two patterns. So the second pattern and the third pattern. And then the third and the last pattern. Okay, let's say you can do that. Then it's all a matter of pushing yourself to go to chain one more pattern. So you can either try to do chain like three in a row, or you could try to go for all four. But uh, chances are you're going to want to try to do three only. So that would look like this. There we go. And then I would try to chain the two, three, and four patterns. Okay, so um, that's basically, in a nutshell, how I practice stuff like this, to try to get it to the point where I can play it at speed. Um, so short little parts short little sections that help you mentally digest the information and then pushing how much of that that you can play at any given time. So I would start off with one pattern, get all the patterns down and try to chain patterns, etc. and then try to push it till I can finally play the whole thing. The ending or the, the there's a different sort of variation of how this goes. Um, there are some important sort of fingering things we have to look at. So let's take a look at that part. <laughs> Okay, so it starts off the same. And then we get into this slide. Um, so I'm sliding with my fourth finger, and then what's really important here is that I'm going to be doing a bar with my first finger. I'm going to do... And this might be tricky because it's a string skip. So if you're not comfortable with string skipping, that's that's a whole other ball game. So uh, that's something that you you know you really want to try to work on. Maybe just isolating string skipping exercises. I'm doing down up on this one, but you might want to try to do up down. It's uh, not super fast, so you might even be able to do down down. So and then we're gonna play that next note. It's like your first finger and you bar for that next note. Okay, so a little bit awkward. Then we're going to do another slide. Don't use your first finger for this next note on the fifth string. Use your second finger because you're going to need your first finger to play this note. So you might want to take these and think of these as 
as sections as well. So this. <laughs> Same thing, you could practice them slow. Or... And then chain them. So, basically applying the same principles that I talked about earlier in the song. Next part is pretty easy. So basically, barring, this is the same concept as smoke in the water. So barring two strings or double stops as they're also called. Uh, this next section, uh, I hybrid pick. So I'm doing pick on the second string and then M finger or your middle finger on the first string. And I'm barring completely with my first or third finger. And I'm also making all of these choppy. That's the way it's played in the recording. So first finger, slide, fourth, first, first, and third. Uh, third finger, slide, first finger, first finger, for, uh, third finger, third finger again, and then First, slide, first finger, first finger. This next section I would strongly recommend to alternate pick, down, up, down, up, down, up for the entire section. These are just chord shapes, fairly basic. If you know your bar chords, these shouldn't be that hard. So this one, this finger is occupied, so you're going to have to use this one, your fourth finger on this note, to slide. And then the hard part, the part that stumps most people. I do a little bit of combination of sweet picking here, but again, uh, if you're more comfortable with strict alternate picking, you might want to stick to that. I would think of this as a same thing, break it up into to small sections. This is spread out, so it's a little bit difficult. Now, the fingering that I'm using, uh, you might find awkward, but you kind of have to do it this way. So I'm doing one, four, three, two, four. One, four, three, two, four. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is I'm trying to keep everything consistent with the patterns. We always want to start off with our first fingers. I could do this, putting this finger over here. And in this one section, the first chord, or the first shape, you could do that and then get into position for this next one. The problem with that is this one here, you can't. Because this is the last note here, and then the next note is this one here. Now it breaks up the pattern of using your first finger to start everything. So I want to keep that pattern every single time. So it's because of this problem I prevent myself from, or I don't, I just don't use my first finger on, on the third string. I use a second finger, even though it's a little awkward, just to try to keep everything uh, the same. My first finger only plays on the sixth string. So the next pattern is uh, one, four, two. Uh, pretty awkward, still, uh, and also kind of stretchy, and a string skip. And then the last one, one, four, one, one, so you're barring. And then three, uh, four. And then we're going to do one, three at the end. One, four, one, one. Three, four, three, one. And then a hammer on with your third finger. And then this is going to be a slide with your first finger and then three fingers in a row on this uh, legato section. 
the way that I do it is to do first finger slide, and then I do four, three, one. You might find it more comfortable to use your second finger. That's totally cool. Doesn't really matter too much. Whatever yours is your way. I tend to use my third finger. And then this part is all first finger, this whole slidey part. Next part, pretty easy. Okay, so uh, that's a little tricky, but uh, you shouldn't have too much problems with that. Okay, so this is another tricky part here. Not so much that, but this part right here, I would turn this one into a loop. So this is a lot of weird foldy stuff with your second finger and barring with it. So I'm going to go pull off there and then I'm going to do second finger, second finger in a bar and I'm going to roll my finger. So I'm doing this, I'm starting like that and I roll it to the next string. that roll. Here I'm going to bar and I'm going to do an opposite roll. I'm going to start off like this and then fold it over and fold it down. There's that uh, folded and then coming up. Fold it down on this note, so on the tip of the finger and then fold it down and then pull off and then slide. This next part is pretty easy. Uh, this part here, you might want to do it actually differently than the way I do it. I do it 4-3, but if those two fingers are weak for you, you might want to do it uh, with your first and second fingers. So this is just a pattern. 2-1, 4-1, 2-1, 4-1. Uh, I use 3-4 on the first one, but that's just a little quirky thing that I do. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that. Okay, so we're back to the uh, essentially the beginning pattern, so you know this. This part's pretty easy. Little tricky on that, that pretty fast slide. That's the same as that alternate ending in the beginning of the song, and then a new pattern. So you might want to take this and turn this into a loop. Or slide into it. I tend to use that finger. You might want to use, uh, uh, first of all, you have to slide in with that finger anyway. So I sort of keep with that pattern. Sometimes I'll do this finger. I'm, I, I, I can kind of do both, so I would, uh, I'm not terribly worried about that, and I wouldn't be terribly worried about, you know, how you're doing that part, so. If that's a problem, apply the principles that I've talked about in the beginning of this video, which is, first of all, turn it a loop, make it slow, uh, turn it into a fast speed burst, as close to performance speed as you can. Or try to go uh, into it from the previous pattern, or maybe even two patterns back. Um. Okay, so that completes the tutorial. Hopefully that uh, helps you out. If you uh, like this video, uh, give it a like, uh, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. 
you'd like to see more and you'd like to uh, support me, uh, it'd be great if you guys could check out my Patreon page. And for as little as a dollar, you can help me out with uh, doing these videos. These videos are incredibly time consuming uh, to uh, film and edit and do all the, not just video editing, but it's also audio editing and also the practice that I have to put in to just make sure I can play all this stuff well. So the way it works is that you pledge one dollar per video, but you can actually cap it so that you're going to be capped out at one dollar and that's, that's all you pay. I'll see you guys another time.